Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations. As you saw from the thumbnail, we are going to make a really super cute reindeer Christmas ornament made out of clothes pegs. Here is the little guy. I think he is absolutely adorable. Sorry my hands are covered in, in brown paint, but that's what you get when, you do, when, you, uh, when you're painting something so fine. But isn't he cute? I made this one after seeing a pin on Pinterest, so this is not an original idea by myself. And I had to make him, and I had to do a tutorial on him, because he is just adorable. Absolutely adorable. So you'll need some wiggly eyes, a nail file, a scrap piece of brown card, your Martha Stewart twig um, bunch, some gem, flatback gems, your art glitter glue, and some brown paint, depending on what you use which brown paint you use. So let me just move those things aside. And of course you'll need three pegs. So the first thing you're going to do is take the pegs off their spring loaded clip and then you are going to paint them. Now I've already painted some to get this to get it started and you're going to glue three parts of the peg. Now pegs in here, uh, the spring clip is there and you pinch it that way. So you're putting glue on the three flat surfaces on the inside. So you'll do that on all three of the pegs. So I'm going to do that with you now. So one flat side, two flat side, three flat sides and then you sandwich the peg back in its original shape last one You're probably thinking, why is your paint job so rough and ready? That's exactly what I want. I want it to have the distressed look. So I'm going to let them dry and I'll be straight back. Okay, I wanted these to dry and set a little before I glue them together. Now you're going to put some glue on one of the flat sides and you're going to stick two of them together. So you're basically doubling the thickness. Okay, so you'll end up with something that looks like that. Okay, then the third one, you glue in the opposite direction. So they overlap and then meet like that. So I'm going to put some glue on this flat surface here and glue this down. Hold it and let that take. These are really simple and they're going to go really well with my kind of rustic vintage theme that I've got of my Christmas tree this year. Now using my nail file, bring over my bin so I don't make a mess. I am going to run the nail file over down the edges just to rough them up, just to give them that vintage look across the front. Anywhere it, where there's wood, you can rough them up, so to speak. Now you could, if you wanted, you could leave it so these were the, the deer's antlers. 
but as you can see on this one I chose to use the punch and I'm going to do the same thing so using a bit of scrap I'm going to punch out one and turn it over and punch a second and they will give me my my antlers you're also going to need a red nose so whatever use whatever um, gem or embellishment you have in your in your stash I'm using these flat back pearls pop it on and then in my many many wobbly eyes I've got really really tiny ones so I'm going to stick those on so pop a dab of our glitter glue for the eyes I can barely pick that one up it's so small pop that one on pop the second one on and then just above the eyes I'm going to add the the antlers one in one direction and one in the other I suggest you use double sided or cardstock that's the same on both sides for when you're um because obviously one has to go in one direction and one in the other so if you use cardstock that's got a white back you're going to get one brown one white and then I simply screwed in one of the eyelets in the back and adhered so and put through some twine and that's how I'm going to hang it on my Christmas tree really fast really simple really cute and I think they're gonna look really great on the Christmas tree this year thank you for joining me I will see you again soon 10k now